What if you could actually hear an untreated acoustic space featuring sources like voice, acoustic guitar, piano, and drums, and then directly compare that to a treated space using nothing but GIK acoustics panels and diffusers? I'm Warren Dent with Zen Pro Audio, and when we set out to convert this room, formerly a garage, into a dedicated recording space, we saw a wonderful opportunity to allow you to use your eyes and ears to see what GIK acoustics can do for your space. When we expanded the operation here at Zen Pro, it gave me the opportunity to take over a 900 square foot space to turn into a dedicated recording studio. We share a lot of audio files online with our Pro Audio customers and what we call our Clipolator Media Player. Um, I've always loved GIK Acoustics, not just the company, but the products. When you look at the performance of their products, they already win. But when you add in the value and the appearance of GIK, they absolutely stand alone. Glenn's headquarters for GIK is actually located nearby in Atlanta, Georgia. So we actually had Glenn stop by. It was just a good opportunity to shoot the room and analyze things together and really figure out what we wanted to do here in the space and utilize Glenn and his equipment here. It's one live room, but it has to deliver great results for you know grand piano, full drum kit, guitars, vocals, and overdubs so that no matter what we do, the room isn't a negative in the equation. Uh, we really just wanted a natural sounding spot, not too live or dead, with manageable reverb and to kill all of the slappy stuff. We had some panels and things in here previously, so we essentially ripped everything down, gutted the room, scraped everything off of the ceiling, and just started fresh with nothing but GIK Acoustics products. GIK 242 panels were used for the ceiling. 50% coverage and we paid special attention to the wall ceiling corners and hung them about six inches down to help get rid of that zing. GIK 244 panels were used for the walls and we installed scatter plates in the panels used on the far walls to lend a more open sort of sound. Monster panels straddle the corners to extend bass absorption and further kill that zing. Q7D diffusers were installed behind the piano to help break up the reflected sound, making it back to the microphones placed here. Our existing 12 by 14 control room here is amazingly flat. It consists of GIK 244 panels in the walls and ceiling, and also covering some of the corner relationships between wall and ceiling. GIK tri traps are used in the front corners to help further bass absorption. GIK diffusers are used in the rear of the room as well as on the ceiling, and we installed our own custom diffusion off to the sides. So now let's take a listen to before and after the GIK acoustics panels and diffusers are installed. I wonder far, I wonder near the night so quiet, so deep. The sun so bright with the heat of hate My world is ever fading
you can have all of the greatest, most expensive audio gear in the world, and the one thing that will always matter more will be the space. The space that you capture your music in, the space that you play back and monitor in. Let's face it, you're either fighting to hear the truth or you've possibly never heard it. Make your workflow faster, make it more accurate by capturing things correctly all along the way and you'll never regret it. I hope that this video has helped to demonstrate how you can take arguably a horrible recording space and turn it into arguably a great recording space using nothing but GIK acoustics, panels, and diffusers.